What is up, Insomniacs? Midnight Sun 518 here, back with episode 24, I believe, of Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, so, where we left off, we are in the big city of Meridian, and it's a gorgeous night. Uh, for you, it's been a week. For me, it's been five minutes. <laughs> I don't. But we're following uh, freaking Aaron over here to go and stock on this dude's house. What, what are you doing, bro? Excuse me. So we're gonna go stalk this dude's house. Pretty statue. Is she Hey, shut up. Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. You can suck a dick. How long will a bud hide in his palace? To lay blood for blood. Who are you guys? Vengeance for Ursa. How long will a bud hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. Mm. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Why are you trying to stir people up, man? Hold up. I want to go look at this. I've never seen one of these with a star. Hey, come back. Hello. Oh, treasure boxes. How interesting. Sure. A luminous braiding. Oh my god. I can. How many of these can I buy? Interesting. Mod box. Can I just like buy these until I'm out? Sure. Let's just buy everything. Oh, I didn't realize that was a thing. Light box and a dark box. What's the difference? Can I just buy a buttload? Nope. Okay. I'll buy the rest of them later. It smells like nothing I've ever Watch there be before. like nothing of importance in there, actually. Kind of Here, let's look at those. Inventory treasure boxes. Let's just kind of open them all. Wood shards, fast travel packs, wood shards, rock ammo. I guess they just give you resources then. I mean, it's not like I'm going to use those uh, glass lenses for anything else, or whatever those are. So okay, I'll probably go buy them. Okay, how are we going to get in? Just break the door in. <laughs> yeah, bust it down. That was subtle. Here we are. Try not to break anything. Yep. yep. Other Clearly than the door. Is frayed. All of this. Let's see what's underneath. Hello. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Um, what else we got? We got a bed. It's a nice place you got here. No, you're wasting time. Family portrait. Yeah. Hey, buddy. It looks like a it looks like a picture of Owen's family. Okay. Is that it? <laughs> I was thinking that there was like a key or something. What about a bomb? Whoa, what is that? Shadow sharp shot? Oh, 
Oh, Harvest Arrow. What does that do? That sounds really cool. Hold up. Let's see. I know I have this guy. Shadow Blast Sling. We're going to throw that over there. Blast Bomb. Sticky Bomb. Proximity Bomb. Sure. I didn't do anything. I don't think you're getting through that hatch. Uh, I will. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sober enough, all right? I don't need another lecture. Wow. That's not what I meant. I was talking about what happened outside with the crowd. I don't want to talk about that. Yeah. We're here because of what you said about Owen, oh. so do what you need to do. Oh, so sure. Did Olin ever invite you in? Nah. Closest I got was a doorstep to help him home after a night out. We drank a river that night, but I hold it well. Y usually. Mm. You said Olin has connections in the royal court. But my headphones died. Personally? No. He served the court awkward. as a scout sometimes. And I'm sorry if the sound quality just dropped. I'm going to finish this little smidgen of dialogue and then i got to charge my headphones. If you're right and Olin's into something dark, Sun King Avad has nothing to do with it. I'd stake my life on that. I'll look around. That's what we came for. Oh, we're back, by the way. Find a way to break into the hatch. Well, I already talked to him, and my exploding ball thing didn't work. Do I have to go back upstairs and look behind the painting or something? What's with this music? Ooh, there's a lot of wood here. Why is the painting the only thing that I can do? I can like look at. Of Olin's family. What if I blow this up? No. What am I supposed to do? Yeah. Hmm. Is there a way to like drop something on it? Where's the hatch? It's right there. Oh! There is! But I can't go that way. Oh, there's a ladder. <laughs> I didn't see it. Alright. This is better. Looks big and heavy. Let's push it. Give it a little push. Yeah. Why do you just have a random pallet of bricks? Are you actually able to push this. Damn, you are strong as fuck. Subtle. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? You're the one that kicked the door in. I guess it probably hurt a lot if I jumped off of that. Huh? Down we go. Hello? Killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. Well, shit. Investigate Olin's secret workshop. Oh. The map. Mm -hmm. The glyphs show places he visited. I like how there's just nails. Massive, like, railroad ties. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Mm. Olin knew I was targeted. Awkward. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. 
He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. To be fair, how did you learn to read families? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. It's the same? Mm -hmm. The device is the same, but this somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin? Mm -hmm. Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Yep. Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Mm. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that. But the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? I got you, bro. Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said? I'll see what I can do. I got you, bro. Yeah! Let's get the hell let's get the F out of H before dude guy comes home and finds that we've totally wrecked the place. Sheesh. Ooh. We got quests galore, man. Let's grab this uh no, okay. Oh, there's another star guy. Hello. Right. You're an outlander. I am. Which is good. But a Nora, which might be bad. Mm -hmm. Do you fear the ruins of the old ones like many in your tribe? No. No. Although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels emblazoned with symbols of the old ones? Maybe. They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring it's me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. He's talking about a cup. So you're interested in the old ones? More than interested. I study every ancient artifact I can get my hands on. But years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk. I can't even bear the sun if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. Mm. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm not looking. In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. Yeah, you're weird. What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm water. convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel, majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. Mm -hmm. It must have been breathtaking. But which vessel was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? She put on out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous. I've never heard anybody talk about shaving. Uh, in such a way. <laughs> yes, yes. Trade quickly. I have work to do. Okay. So yeah, once I once I have all of these, then I'll be able to do that. Cool. I'm missing a couple from each of them. I will leave you to the hunt. Yep. Be rugged. Thanks, man. Well traveled. Yes. Hey, you got anything good? I would. You're offering the same stuff. What about outfits? Really good. Ooh, that's fun. Special items. Sure. I'd like to talk to you. 
fan cook figurines? Huh. I see only a couple of them. How interesting! Oh, okay, here's more around here. I guess we gotta get these now. That's fun. Where's that first cup? There's another one. So it was a, it had a zero, which makes me think that it's down here somewhere. Huh. I don't know. Weird. And I assume that if we get these little figurine things, we can also trade them in for cool stuff. I don't know. Whatever. All right. Let's go uh, talk to this dude and see what your Nora, side please, quest is. You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. Yes. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Ooh. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely it? inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Can I have Forgive it? me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. Oh. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. Your headdress is wild, bro. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. I'll go kill him. Uh... I am going to steal whatever's in this box. Where was that? There was another, uh, another thing. Okay, how do I get over there? How do I get in there? I figured we'll collect all of these. I'm just going to run around in this circle. Maybe I'll find a way in. I'm going to collect all of these, uh, Quests so that we're on standby. Is this the way in? Ooh, hello. Oh, it's definitely not that way. Let me in! Somebody! We're gonna go grab this one first. Nope, it's not that way. Where the heck? How do I get up to these other people? Maybe this way? Oh, here's one. There's hey, bodied adventurers! Oi there, Outlander! Hello. Name's Vilgund. Digging Did you the come patch, to the bro. city looking for work? Nope. Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. Uh, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. Bro. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh... I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Yeah. Those Banuke are canny. Too canny. You know your eyebrows are coming up front. the thing. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. Yep. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> The last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. 
Hey, you're a smart one. Mm. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to just realize all his the tribes. Just metal circles. It's when you say valuable, you, you mean they paid you for it. Like, uh, Girl, glasses. I'm not made of straw. Or, uh, monocle. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Mm -hmm. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> They choose to live up there in Van Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. Yep. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Man, I don't like this guy. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Hmm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. It's just insane. <clears throat> All right, more of an opportunist. Uh, girl, uh, Nora, girl. <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities. Risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right. I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath yep. the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. What happened to paying up front? Okay, well, we've talked to that dude. I don't really know how to get to any of these other ones. I feel like there's gotta be a way to over here. Why are all the doors shut? You need to win three half suns at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. But you mean these? Very well, then. I was gonna say, I have them. Congratulations and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk? Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time. And I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Yeah. Where do I start? Upstairs, present yourself to the Sunhawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. Okay. By the sun! King of Odd's edict really is taking effect. I like Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you really? mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. What edict? King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. Oh, yeah. Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. Mm. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Asaram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. Cool. Okay. What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not going to take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Really? Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. I can give you up to three weapons, one for 15 half-suns, 
one for 15 full suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. Oh shit. Well, what do I do with these What if marks? I don't get the If you the get the ones, same mark from all everything. the hunting ground trials, Got I can give you a hunter's lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. Mm -hmm. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. How do I get marks? I don't understand! I want... What do you mean? Oh, this button. Yeah, I did the bandit camps. I already did all of this. Unless that's not what they're talking about. Yeah. I guess I don't understand. Well, let's go look at this thing. Bylaws of the Lodge. How interesting. I don't really care to read through this right now, but... If you guys want to pause and be able to read yourself, feel free. Oh! What's next? I guess I don't really care about anything else in here. How do I get marks? That's what I want to do. Like I've done, I've done the individual hunting grounds. You know what I mean? I mean, you've got another one over here I can do. I don't know. Weird. Uh, well, guys, I think let's hop up here and grab this vantage point real quick, and then uh, it's probably gonna about wrap up this episode. We have a whole long list of uh, what you call it. The machines are just one more sign. Yeah, we have a whole long list of uh, quests that we can hit up now, which is pretty nice. Um, a lot of dialogue, you know, during this episode. I know, and I'm sorry, but uh, sometimes it's how it goes. What are you? A raccoon. I don't know where. Oh, there it is. Where'd you go? I cannot. Son of a gun, I can't hit anyone. Got you now. Get out of the way. Oh my god. <laughs> I want you! I'm determined now. Wow. Alright, come here, bro. That's exactly what I needed, I think. There's a raccoon skin. I don't know. I might need a raccoon bow. Oh, I've been shooting my arrows. My precision ones. I did not need that. What do these harvest arrows do, I wonder? What if I hit... A raccoon? With my harvest arrow, what does that give me? Save this for later. I don't think that gave me much. I'm gonna have to read up on what those do. Now to find this vantage point, which I don't think is gonna be too difficult to see. Just gotta figure out how to get up there. I don't see any like climbing points. Maybe there's a little pathway that goes up the back here or something. I get up here. Oh, this is all right. Oh, that's not the way. Bro, I just want to get up on the mountain. How the heck does one 
climb this this this, this mountain. I don't I don't see any like handholds anywhere. How do I get up there? I'm very confused. Maybe you guys see something I don't, but I don't see Ditto. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Literally ran around the entire thing. All right. Yep, go for it. Pretty cool looking. Uh, well, I take it that there is nothing cool up here at all, so we're gonna repel down. Alrighty, guys, well, that just about wraps up the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please drop a like and uh, come back next week because we have another episode coming out in this incredible game. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you next time around. Good night, sign out.